Hey what's good, it's your boy Matthew Michael and in today's video I'm going to show you how I was able to take the worst day that the stock market has traded in the last 12 years and use it to double my account. And not only did I double my account, I did it with probably one of the worst brokers to have in situations like this. So if you're new here, please be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so that you don't miss any future content or giveaways. I post two new videos every week and I would absolutely love to have you as part of the family. Also, while you're down there, please be sure to smash the like button. It really helps to grow the family. And I'm sure you probably already have. But if you haven't and would like to sign up for Weeble and get two free stocks valued up to $1,400 just for signing up and depositing $1, I have a referral link down below in the description. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Wow, the stock market has been falling absolutely out of control lately. I look at the charts and I see nothing but red. And it's exactly times like this that new wealth is created. And all of this happening, people who've never had money are getting money. We are entering a bear market where all the stocks are on sale. And all that means is basically, you can do a lot more with your dollar than you could have. Prices are so low that in many instances, the price that you would pay to get one stock will now buy you two. And those two stocks will work just as hard as the one, if not harder, to make even more money for you. Right now, the market is turning down and I expect that it will be for some time with a few pullbacks. This actually isn't the first time that I've been able to pull off doubling my account this year while the market has been going down. If you missed out on the last time I did, I'll have a tag up here. Be sure to click on it and check it out. I'll also be sure to leave a link down below in the description. But back to how I doubled my account while the stock market has been going down. So the basic rule of the stock market is to buy low and sell high. And of course, watch the profits fly. But anyone who makes income like me doesn't really have much left over to invest. And with that amount, aren't likely to come out of this bear market rich. And that right there is exactly why I have to take advantage of the market while it's falling. In a perfect world, I can profit off the market as it goes up and as it goes down. So I'm just gonna tell you right now that I'm riding the market down in hopes of buying more shares of stocks before it goes back up. But I understand that I'm kinda on a tangent right now so let's just hop into Robinhood and see exactly how I double my account today. And actually for the purpose of just this flowing more consistently, I took screenshots just before this video so this flows better so I don't have to do all the scrolling in the app. But it's screenshots of the app so it's like it's real. So taking a look, you can see right here that my portfolio is up $926 on the day and 95 cents. That's 103%. That means I doubled my account today. So yeah, it was a good day. And believe it or not, the only stock that I traded was Apple. Today I focus all my attention on this one stock and just how it reacts and how it moves. So now you're about to see how I built my position and how I've been able to somewhat finesse my way in and out of it. And this is, this is my portfolio on the week. So on the week, we're doing even better than we are on a day. On the week, we're up 172% and my is it beautiful okay but yeah right here you have my initial position getting into apple i'm happy to say i i got in for 284 dollars all the contracts in this video expire march 20th that's about two weeks out uh, i personally like to get a month out but right now these contracts are expensive so i hope to work my way out to where i can get further out contracts but right now you you just gotta work with what you can so first contract i got was this Apple 240 put, I bought it for $284. The next position is me selling a 235 put against that 240 put. So now the max profit potential for this little spread that I've created, it's like I bought it for $1 because as you can see right here, I sold the second one for 283 and I bought the first one for 284. And I think I had intended to sell this one for the same price I bought the first one, but I guess I wasn't paying attention to the price I bought it at, so didn't completely cover it, but got most of it back. So now I have basically all that, that money I initially paid for the first one, and with these two contracts, I have the potential to make $500 and not lose any money, so I feel comfortable holding this position, so I just stay in it and I wait. 
and time goes on i buy another contract i notice the price goes down below where i bought the first one i buy another one for two dollars and 66 cents and the first one i bought was two dollars and 84 cents so i still have more money left over yeah that's nice everything we're talking about all this happened friday this is all from me buying over friday to opening today on monday okay so eight minutes before the market closed i noticed the price goes down again so i buy another one i buy another one to get the average down and i buy it for a dollar and 95 cents that was it for friday and i think now now it's today okay so now you see it's march 9th and not march 6th anymore the first thing i did was i sold one of those for three dollars and 45 cents and i got a lot of my investment back for one that's almost twice the price i paid for one so starting to finesse i'm starting to have more buying power so then I buy two of those 235s back for 294. This frees up the other two contracts I had, the 240s. And now whenever the price goes down, there's nothing slowing them down from making more profits. So me buying this back was good for me. And then later today, the same two options that I just bought for 588, I then go on later in the day and sell them for $800. So it increased my buying power and it has me sitting in a better position. And was a real big push to doubling my account that was that was the last trade i made and right now it's just sitting open now we just took a quick trip over to the robin hood app you can see that my buying power is 999 dollars and 83 cents and that i am holding three puts that i sold and i have four 240 puts and that means that one of them is not covered by the 235 put so i have the potential to take more cash back from this if I want. So yeah, really for the most part, I've just been focused on Apple. I've just been trading puts on it and just been working in and out of those puts as the price moves up and down to finesse profits. And I know that some of you are probably gonna go and look at puts right now for Apple and see the, the puts for Apple, they're expensive. So what I'm gonna do right now really quick is I'm gonna hop in Robinhood and I'm gonna show you how I chose which price I was gonna buy puts for for Apple. Because a lot of you ask me this all the time. Let me just show you real fast. If we take a look at Apple on the week, I bought into most of these Apple positions around this price, $288. The price has gone down $16 since I bought into it. That's a drop. If you take a look at Apple on the month, it is down $50. If you take a look even further back at Apple, it's actually still positive on the three month chart. And looking at that three month chart, is where I started to kind of get direction at where I wanted to buy the put for. So yeah, there's that 268 level, but if you look at the options on that price, with the money I had, still a little too rich for my blood. So I then went out to look at the year chart. If you take a look at Apple on the year, it kind of bottoms out right here at 259 and it seemed like a good level of support so i was like i'm going to try to buy the closest option i can for that and make sure that i get more than a week worth of time for it to fall to that and that way if it took longer than a week i could roll my position out to the next week and get out and still have my money yeah so i did all that i found out those are still kind of expensive so then i looked at the next peak and i was like i see this 243 and that looks like a good support level for me yeah i used 243 as my support level I grabbed the 240 put and I was like, let's roll with this. So like I said, there's no real science to it. I'm definitely not real heavy on technical analysis. I don't really use it. So yeah, I just kind of look through general support levels to find where I want to buy a put. But I want to know, how are the markets treating you right now? Let me know down below in the comments. Did you enjoy or learn anything from this video? If so, please be sure to smash that like button. And also, if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so that you don't miss any future content or giveaways. I post two new videos every week and I would absolutely love to have you as part of the family. And most of all, I want to say thank you so much for watching and peace.